when you're ready. Now, this model proves that Michael Schumacher is not the only good thing that came out of Germany. Um, so was the uh, Stuka, but I mean, okay, this is made by FMS and technically it's out of China, but still it's pretty bloody good. Um, it does have a couple of bad points, and most importantly those damn aileron hinges, which were not glued on properly at the factory. Now, if and when you get yours, uh, check, check it. Apparently FMS have fixed the problem since, but I'd still say when you get it, check them, and if so, put some extra CA on there so it doesn't happen or doesn't come off for you in flight. Um, the other thing was the tail wheel, weak as piss, broke on the first flight. What the hell? Anyway, I hope FMS address it. Um, the design is okay, but just the material used, the plastic, is just really, really weak. So, but that was an easy fix. I just made one out of wire, which you saw in the video. Problem solved. Now, that's about all I can say in terms of bad for this model. The rest, bloody fantastic. I really, 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 really like it. It looks bloody sexy. It went together well. Everything fitted well. The power system in it, for a stop power system, is way more than uh, it needs. I mean, it's supposed to be. It's not a fighter, yet it can be flown like a fighter. Um, you know, you're flying around mainly, you know, half throttle, and if not, a little bit less. Um, the flaps on it work really, really good the, and help it to slow down. The roll rate is not too bad. Some guys are complaining that they can't get much travel on ailerons. I didn't find that at all. Um, so my roll rate was okay. Um, climb rate is good. Glide's pretty good. The landing gear, which I was worried about, seems to be you know pretty tough and holding up okay. Um, in terms of ease of flying, uh, it's as easy, if not easier, than any of the other FMS birds that are out there. And I would actually recommend if anyone's looking to get into or wanting to buy a large warbird, foam warbird of this size, it's probably a good beginner one because it doesn't use retracts. So that's one less thing you have to worry about. And just its gentle ease of flying um, makes it ideal for that. Now, overall, I have to give it two big, big thumbs up. I like it, price is good. FMS have done another fantastic job. Um, if you like a Stuka or you just want a good warbird, a nice looking warbird that not that many people have at the moment, you know, keep your eye on it, it's pretty good. So from me to you, I'd say get it. I love it. If you've got any questions about the build or the plane itself, um, just leave a comment down below or shoot me an email and I'll try and answer you as best I can. Um, if you did enjoy the video or there's something else that you want to see, um, yeah, just subscribe and that way you'll get kept up to date with all the new ones as they get released. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is JBC signing out. Oh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Um. Okay.